exciting look behind the scenes into the making of a feature film. That heritage is currently being translated into a series of murals under the direction of local artist Charlie Felix. It's called Chicano Glyphics. Felix designs many of the paintings and the preliminary sketches. The youth of the barrio then lay in the colors. The result of their joint effort is in a series of modern murals whose bright colors and tones reflect the proud Mexican culture. Channel 7 salutes artist Felix and the kids of the Estrada courts and the efforts that might have otherwise been given to less positive activity. Chicano Glyphics is a whole new concept which has motivated both young and old into beautifying their own communities to achieve a positive image in the new era of the Chicano movement, the 1970s. The philosophy of Chicano Glyphics is not to destroy the barrio, but to restore the unity and morale of the people of the community. This has been a KBC TV editorial presented by Don B. Curran, Vice President and General Manager. Copies are available care of this station. Gasoline dealers will be able to legally raise their prices at the pumps by the end of this week. Faced with stations closing and the prospect of some customers running dry, the president prodded the Cost of Living Council into moving faster on a study which will permit price increases. The level is not yet announced, but it's expected to be anywhere from one to three cents a gallon, with a provision for further increases in the future. The gasoline prices frozen since August 17th should be thawed by the weekend. Even as the president was working out the controversy over gasoline prices, he entered another by endorsing the recommendations of an advisory panel on timber and the environment. The members of a two-year presidential study commission strolled on the south lawn of the White House with the president as he explained to them the history behind some of the trees growing there. These trees are secure enough, but the commission recommended there be a substantial increase in the cutting of trees in the nation's public forest lands, a proposal which was quickly attacked by conservationists, claiming it would doom future generations to a serious timber shortage. As the cold weather approaches, the White House is facing yet another shortage for the nation, heating oil. The president has on his desk a recommendation he impose a mandatory distribution system on oil to make sure all sections of the country get their fair share. Action on that, like the gasoline price problem, may be accelerated beyond the administration's original timetable. Tom Jarwell, ABC News at the White House. This is Bill Matney. On the day President Nixon moved to ease the pressure on gasoline retailers, scores of stations in Washington and Maryland shut down their pumps. The independent dealers are protesting phase four price controls, which allow gasoline companies to raise wholesale prices while preventing retailers from passing the extra cost along to the public. The dealers contend they need a 10 cents profit on every gallon of gas sold to stay in business. Today's shutdown was not total, however, and the reasons for closing down or staying open reflected the dealer's dilemma. We can't, we can't make it with the prices we're getting for the gas. How bad is it? I don't know. I'm losing between uh, 18 and $2,000 a month by staying open pumping gas for the prices I'm getting. I know at this location, if we, if we close down for a week, uh, we, we just be out of business. Therefore, I decided that we would stay open. With the present price structure, I don't think they can afford to open because they're going to be out of business in 60 days at these prices. We can't afford to absorb all these costs. There is just no way. You're really seeing a, a prelude to what can happen if this uh, situation is not remedied because these stations are going to be forced to close down. They're go all going to be just like this because they won't be able to afford to stay open if the present situation is maintained. Many of the independent retailers in the greater Washington area say they will not accept a piecemeal solution from the Cost of Living Council. They would prefer, ideally, a total lifting of controls. And a spokesman for the Gasoline Retailers Association says a nationwide shutdown could occur as early as next week if the council's decision is unacceptable. Bill Matney, ABC News, Washington. The New Orleans Saints play the Dallas Cowboys in NFL Monday Night Football. Coming up next, right afterwards, Terry Webster, posing as a prison inmate, gets trapped in a prison riot. On The Rookies, tonight on ABC. A guy in a $13,000 sports car just challenged you. It's nice just to know what your Mazda can do. 
Getting on the freeway can be a problem, but your new rotary engine Mazda makes it easy. The thrill is back, Mazda performs. You are now a PSA grinning bird, the unofficial state bird of California. You will fly from Los Angeles to San Francisco every hour on the half hour from 7.30 a.m. to 9.30 p.m. You will fly more often at peak periods, understand? Good. Now, when I snap my fingers, you will wake up smiling. Oh, just fooling around. I. It worked. It worked. It worked. Oh. Plus, going bowling in a fur coat. Is making your marriage and your wife work. Class is a liberated woman. Sexy, strong, moxie, sticking by your friends. Class is having all your teeth. We think two Borg beers got class, and now it's made in America. The taste of the old country, but light like America. At American prices, too. Two Borg beer, it's got class. Class is marrying all five daughters. <laughs> Tonight at 11, E. Howard Hunt at the Watergate hearings, a threat of a big gas boycott in L.A., and how to wrestle a girl in a bikini. I'm Judd Hambrick. Football is next. Department S tonight at 10.